Hello, I am Dr. Edward Zuniga, proud superintendent of the El Monte Union High School District. I hope everyone enjoyed a relaxing spring break and is ready to finish the semester off strong. Today, I am here at South El Monte High School, home of the Eagles, to discuss the outstanding student achievement that happened across our campuses throughout the month of April. Our district community celebrated the start of construction for South El Monte High School's modernization project with the groundbreaking ceremony on April 4th. This project will include redesigned landscaping and outdoor seating, upgrades to classrooms, the library and administration building, and state-of-the-art technology. Shout out to our South El Monte Mighty Eagles Band and Drill Team for thrilling guests with an amazing performance during the event. Our South El Monte Eagles also received recognition during a board meeting on April 5th. South El Monte's academic decathlon students were recognized for being the first group of Eagles in school history to compete in the California State Championship and our girls wrestling athletes were lauded for their athletic achievements throughout their season. Congratulations Eagles! Our outstanding Fernando Ardedesma High School was recognized this month as a model continuation school at the 2023 California Continuation Education Association Plus State Conference. The Mustangs also showcased some of the many reasons why they received the recognition with the proud display of their accomplishments during an open house on April 6. Thank you to our Ledesma High DJ Club students who brought the fun by playing music throughout the entire campus during the event. Our community partners including the El Monte South El Monte Community Alliance, Foothill Family, Deaf Ministry, Bridges Community Treatment Services Incorporated, and America's Job Center of California were also present to share information about better housing, mental wellness, and tutoring services. Awesome work, Mustangs. On April 20th, El Monte Union hosted a Clean Mobility Information Fair in celebration of Earth Day. During the event, students and guests learned more about clean energy transportation, viewed all electric vehicles, visited exhibit booths, and participated in photo opportunities. Thank you to everyone who made this a successful event that highlighted our district's commitment to sustainability. In honor of Autism Awareness Month, El Monte High School's Freshman Club members hosted an Autism Awareness Walkathon on April 22nd. Community members took the school's track and field to walk laps in support of Autism Awareness and enjoyed a variety of food and games. Half of the proceeds earned were donated to the Autism Community in Action Charity a nonprofit that focuses on supporting families struggling with autism. The remainder went to the Freshman Club for club and student activities. Great work, Lions! In celebration of our prom season, Mobile High School's ASP members hosted a prom fashion show on April 5th to increase excitement about prom, provide students with an array of prom attire ideas, promote inclusivity, and electrify school spirit throughout the campus. As a grand gesture, Friar Tucks provided male student models with complimentary suits to showcase and Winter Store provided female student models with dresses, shoes, and accessories. Thank you to Winter for surprising our female students and gifting them all with prom accessories and dresses. A Royal High School students also celebrated Prom Spirit Week by participating in theme days such as Matching Monday, Ties vs. Tierra's Tuesday, and Favorite Sports Team Thursday. Way to show spirit nights and Vikings. Lastly, our Board of Trustees adopted a resolution during a board meeting on April 5th, declaring April as Child Abuse Prevention Month in recognition of the importance of raising awareness on the issue and putting a stop to child abuse. I met with students from Rosemead High School who have spearheaded the Student Voices Group that helped launch a grooming awareness program which aims to help students recognize the signs of grooming and prevent them from becoming potential victims. Our Student Voices Group is part of the District's Child Abuse Prevention Initiative. Throughout the week of April 17th to 21st, students hosted activities and passed out customized t-shirts and pins. Thank you to our Panthers, Anna Zhang, Chelsea Ma, Felipe Salazar, and Samantha Huang for their efforts. As a district, we are dedicated to ensuring our students have access to the resources and support they need to be safe, healthy, and successful. 
We encourage our SCOOT community to make an impact by speaking up. You can do so by visiting our website and clicking on the Our District tab where you will see a section labeled Tip Off to submit an anonymous tip. Well, there you have it. I want to wish all our students and seniors the best of luck as they prepare for their finals, AP exams, spring sports playoffs, and graduation. Please visit our website and follow us on social media to stay up to date on our district happenings. Until next time, thanks for watching.